Well, the best tips to make pasta is have the right recipe. So I'd always say um, when you're making this recipe, I would use 350 grams of Tipo Zero Zero flour. It has to be Italian pasta flour. Uh, I'd use 25 grams of semolina flour. I'd use four egg yolks and two whole eggs. And I'd mix that all up in a bowl or in a, in a, in a machine. And then once you've formed the dough, wrap it in cling film, leave it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. If it feels a bit dry, add a teaspoon of water to it and then, then knead it so it's nice and moist. But make sure it's not sticky. When you hold the pasta, it shouldn't be sticky. It should be like Play-Doh. It's exactly like Play-Doh. Wrap it in the cling film, pop it in the fridge for 20 minutes, and then get a pasta machine, a roller, and start rolling, folding the pasta over two or three times so the pasta becomes quite tough. Then on the machine, just turn the setting down one notch by notch until you start rolling and rolling and rolling and basically extruding the pasta so you get a long, thin bit of pasta. When you put the pasta over your hand and you can see your hand, the silhouette of your hand, it's the right thickness. If you can't see your hand, it's too thick. And the filling, just roll the filling into little balls and then put the filling in the middle, and I can show you on this, put the filling in the middle and then you fold over once and you fold over again and then you bring it round and that's how you get the capoletti. When you make pasta, it's really good to have fresh eggs, the freshest eggs possible. So we use local eggs, so they've got a much nicer taste and they're much fresher. So you get a much better elasticity on the pasta. Uh, 